Right, it's the 4th of June. Um, just had a bit of rain that's broken a long, hot, dry spell. And uh, it's the perfect time to be planting courgettes and squashes and cucumbers. Um, all these plants that are referred to collectively as the cucurbits. Um, these all, they all stop quite late in the year. Um, they need a lot of heat to get going. Um, and but once they get established, they grow very fast, um, and they they need a lot of space, very fertile soil, and lots of water. Um, so it's it's really only it's particularly the squashes, which have a a sort of trailing habit, and they send off runners all over the garden. Um, so maybe not one to, to to grow unless you've got a lot of space. Uh, because the courgettes and squashes don't go out until uh, June, there's space to um, do a bit of catch cropping and intercropping. So, so far this year, um, this bed has had has got some, some lettuces growing at the far end, and we've also sown some um, radishes, which are just coming up. And I'm just going to put the I'm just going to put the plants in um, in the middle of all those, you know. So take out a few radishes, a few lettuces, just to give enough room for the plant to get started. And as it as they grow, they will gradually shade out all those other vegetables, which um, you're you know will will be will be harvesting in the meantime. And uh, at this end of the bed, we're going to put in um, three winter squash. Um, these are like you know like pumpkin like plants um, but you know butternut squash is the best known that you'll, that you'll see in the shop but there's lots of other varieties um, these are big sprawling plants and they need a lot of room um, so we're going to plant them three to four foot apart and down the end of down the other end of the bed um, going to put in um, three courgette plants and they have a more sort of bushy habit um, so they can be planted a wee bit closer together. Um, plants look the same at the moment. Very. So to um, give the plants the very rich soil they need, um, it's generally recommended that you, you dig a hole about a foot wide and foot deep and fill it with um, a mixture of compost and soil and um, some manure if you can get hold of it. So here we have some basic kind of municipal green waste compost um, we get from Caledonian horticulture and uh, some chicken manure pellets so I'm just going to mix that mix that up with the soil and and put this back in the hole finish with a load of compost and uh, leave it slightly leave it slightly mounded and uh, then make a little hole just uh, be careful not to grip the, the stem it's a good tip for replant for replanting and potting on just grab it by grab it gently by the leaves give the pot a squeeze and out it comes tease out these little uh, roots uh, so they have room to grow pop it in the hole and firm the soil around and uh, finally as with anything that you've just transplanted it's going to need to be watered in so so your squash or courgette plant is um, at quite a vulnerable stage now. Um, it needs to first; it needs to get enough water, and second, um, it's it's quite vulnerable to getting eaten by slugs. So, I'm personally not particularly keen on putting slug pellets down. Um, so, really, the the other the other solution is just to grow quite a lot of these and um, plant them out 
um, cross your fingers and um, if, if, it, if it does get, you know, put it, at, put it in at the right time, that's, a, that's an important point. Um, see when it's got, it's got two, two true leaves, um, but raise quite a few of them and um, so you have some replacements if, if, if it all goes horribly wrong. Um, and if it goes right, uh, you have some extras to share amongst your friends. Um, so that's what we're doing at the White House. We have um, quite a few cucurbits of various sorts um, to, to give away. And uh, over the next few weeks, if, if, if hours, assuming hours come, come right, um, you, can, uh, you can drop by and pick up, pick up one or two uh, for your garden. So, um, so that's the cucurbits. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we need the stick on it. You got an aim on it. Should have. So? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Nice right, one. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs>